investigations underway after a motorcycle driver died in a crash on Saturday. Police identified the victim as 54 year old Eric Barnes. They say Barnes was driving on South Illinois Avenue at the Bethel Valley Road underpass when he hit a car and left the roadway. He died at the scene. An investigation is underway. Right now, police are still looking for this man. They say he robbed the Newport Federal Bank at gunpoint on Friday. The FBI says he ran away from the scene. No one is hurt. Anyone with information is asked to call the Newport Police Department or the FBI. We've got that number for you inside your WVLT News app. And Marcus DeHart, the brother of Kenneth DeHart, the man suspected of shooting a Blunt County deputy and killing another, is having a status hearing later today. Marcus DeHart was charged with accessory after the fact. A warrant for him states that he helped harbor his brother, who he would have known who would have known he was on the run from police. We will keep you updated on what happens right here on air and inside your WVLT News app. Well, members of the United Cajun Navy are now joining in the search for Sebastian Rogers in Middle Tennessee. The 15 year old has now been missing for about a month and is at the center of an Amber Alert. Hundreds have joined in the search for Rogers since his disappearance February 26th. There have been little to no updates throughout the search process. Meanwhile, a 21 year old man is dead and his 18 year old brother is severely hurt, but expected to survive after a California mountain lion attack. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office has yet to identify the two brothers who were attacked, but they say they were not from the area. After the attack, first responders rushed to the forest just outside of Georgetown, where they were able to find the mountain lion and kill it. This is the first deadly mountain lion attack in California in 20 years, but people living in that area say the cats are all around. And today marks the deadline for former President Donald Trump to post, to post a $454 million bond. He needs to comply with the recent civil fraud ruling in New York. The Republican presidential nominee faces the potential of having half a billion dollars worth of assets seized if he does not come up with the cash. The former president has asked an appeals court to pause the payment and accept a lesser bond of just $100 million for now. Well, another Powerball drawing is set for today. Nobody won Saturday night's Powerball, which means the jackpot is now up to 800 million bucks. While there was not a jackpot winner, at least five people won a million dollars. No one won the Mega Millions drawing on Friday either, so that jackpot is up to more than $1 billion. That drawing is tomorrow. And the Consumer Product Safety Commission is warning about the dangers of water beads for children. Now, the agency says parents should immediately throw out these two brands of beads. They were sold on Amazon because they contain a potentially toxic chemical. Regulators also warn that other brands of water beads can expand in the stomach if they're ingested. The CPSC says kids swallowing the beads led to nearly 7,000 emergency room visits between 2018 and 2022. And Chrysler is recalling more than 280,000 cars because of airbag issues. Yeah, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says inflators for the right and left side curtain airbags are at risk of rupturing. This means if the airbags are deployed, you could possibly get hit with sharp metal fragments. The recalls for 2018 to 2021 Dodge Chargers and Chrysler 300 models. The agency says the dealership will replace them for free. If you have any questions about the recall, you can call Chrysler's customer service line. And the dance continues for the Lady Vols after they took care of Green Bay in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, now they're gearing up for NC State. This is the first time the Lady Vols will be the lower seed for a second round game in the NCAA tournament. Now that game's today at 4 o'clock on ESPN. For the 10th time in program history and the third under Rick Barnes, the Vols are into the Sweet 16. Yeah, their 62 to 58 win over Texas in the second round wasn't the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it was enough to get the job done. Their defense and timely free throws lifted Tennessee to a win. With points hard to come by on the offensive end, they doubled down on the other end of the floor and held Texas to their second lowest scoring output of the season. Yeah, it's going to be a late one. I'm going to need a nap Friday, 10 o'clock tip off against Creighton and Jefferson County High School's own Peter Malnati. He's headed to Augusta for the Masters. The 36 year old Knoxville resident won the PGA Tours Valspar Championship on Sunday. It's his first win since 2015. A final round 67 put him one shot clear of second place at 12 under par. The win once again gives Malnati his first invite ever to the Masters in April. One of the most challenging ultra marathons in the world starts right here in Tennessee. And yeah, the Barkley Marathons wrapped up Friday. One of the finishers made history. British runner Jasmine Paris is the first woman to ever finish the grueling trek. Starts at Frozen Head State Park. The course changes every year, but covers 160, uh, 100 miles, excuse me, with a 60,000 foot climb and descent. 
You only have 60 hours to finish it. Paris finished with less than two minutes to spare. Pretty incredible. Five finishers in this year's race. It is 6.55 now. We want to get a check of your first alert traffic with Kristen Allen. Good morning. Keeping an eye on that first alert traffic for you this morning. Taking a live look there, I-40 out at Cedar Bluff. You can see we're starting to see more of that traffic flow here in West Knoxville, but certainly not seeing anything that's going to slow you down just yet. So we'll keep a close eye on that for you. But I-40 out at Hall of Fame Drive. Traffic in downtown moving along just fine on both sides of the interstate. So far, so good out there on this Monday morning. Take a look here at your big picture. Your interstates and main roads are all clear. We've got a little bit of a delay there on Clinton Highway, but again, nothing too much to worry about. Taking a quick look at those drive times, I-40 East and I-75 South, both up to speed and on time. Alcoa Highway North from Lamar Alexander to 40, seeing a little bit of a delay, taking you 19 minutes this morning. Seconds out from 7.56, 6.56, excuse me, goodness, it is a Monday. Um, we've actually got a couple of light showers stirring around this morning. Again, some sprinkles trying to come through West Knox. If you step outside, you might notice those are there. Uh, West Anderson up I-75 into Campbell County to Scott County, and then there's those stragglers I was telling you about that are popping up now here in the Southern Valley. But notice it does start to push up temperatures. We were in the low 40s in the Valley. Now Knoxville's at 46. 37 still Pigeon Forge to La Follet. So this is part of warm air lifting into our area. So while you may not like that there is some spotty light rain this morning, you'll like how this boosts temperatures today. So again, we got these little sprinkles driving up I-75 behind this batch. That'll be rolling through Loudon around 730, back to Farragut around 750, where you've got some sprinkles now, and then that little line up through Oneida to Southern Campbell County. So for today, we'll stick with just some spotty light showers. We'll stick with a big warm up. 56 at noon, a mix of sun and clouds throughout your afternoon. 68 your high, and then those winds start picking up. Gusts around 20 plus miles per hour today to 30 miles per hour tomorrow. That is the line of rain and storms. That is the cold front that we are tracking for you here coming up on the CW at 7. All right, Heather, thanks a lot.